Patrice. I am um, having one of the um, rougher times right now um, where I'm, I'm just sad and angry and I think I'm just grieving. So um, I thank God that I have the community that I have available to me. Um, somebody wrote a post. I was not going to talk about this. But anyway, someone wrote a post on Facebook yesterday. And they were talking about um, how it's dangerous to tell people that um, they need self-care when what they really need is community care. And... Um, and so, you know, and a lot of people were like, yeah, like, you know, they were agreeing with it. And, um, and so I wrote in, um, typically if I disagree with something, I'll just keep scrolling on past it. But, um, I said, no, I have the community care. I have a beautiful community of, of people, um, who are my family by choice, not by blood. And they are absolutely amazing like absolutely amazing okay and so I know that they are there come what may at any given moment I could call any of them what I need is self care because I got the community stuff down pat I'm a friend to have I'm good to people I'm needing to be good to me so, no, I need the self stuff. I need it, and I know it, and I need it desperately. So, I'm really working on that. And, um, again, I wasn't going to talk about that at all. Um, but, I don't know, it came up, so I was just like, uh. So, but the thing that I'm, I'm dealing with right now, I believe I'm grieving. I, I think about my mother very likely every day I can't say that I miss her every day though um and I don't I don't I'm not gonna feel bad about that or you know have that be a point of um contention with myself where I'm gonna beat myself up like oh what kind of daughter are you you're awful whatever you don't even miss her that much and whatever so because it's just what it is and so um um last night though at, at dinner my um daughter played music when we eat dinner so yeah there's like ambiance thing going on but anyway so um at dinner she was playing music that I know my mother would have really loved and um so it naturally made me think of her and it made me think of too like this is why I don't listen to music so much because of all the emotions and things that it invokes I don't like it and I sing <laughs> that's something but anyway so um I was um just sitting there and I'm looking around at all of my children and anybody who knows me knows I absolutely adore my children I won't sit here and, um, and say they are my life. No, <laughs> I don't know why people, I, whatever. I'm not going to judge what people say or do whatever, but they are not my life. You know, there's, there's more to my life than just being a mother. There's more to my life than just being a daughter, a niece, a cousin, a sister, a wife. I'm Patrice. And right now, that's what I'm really holding on to more than anything. I'm Patrice. Okay? So, um, anyway, I was starting to feel bad. I'm looking around at my children and I'm thinking about how heartbroken I would be if any one of them decided to separate from me as I, as I am currently from my mother. And then the thoughts started to come where, um, okay, am I being too harsh? Um, am I making a mountain out of a molehill? Is it really as bad as, you know, what you're saying it is? Or, you know, all those things. And then at the same time, I'm thinking, nope, I'm not going to let myself down again. 
you know, trying to like placate whomever this is, like that's in my head at the moment, trying to get me to get back in line, you know, because the fact of the matter, whether my mother is diagnosed as a covert narcissist or not, that don't matter because toxic is toxic. I have not made up one single thing about how she has treated me. Um, nothing I said was a fabrication in any anyway and there's so much more that I haven't said but me knowing it and having lived it is enough for me to just say you know what even like my entire life like my entire life from the very first day because she has told me stories she hasn't been there for me in the ways that, it, that that were like just like vital you know I mean yeah she she clothed me and she fed me and but like no emotional nothing like she told me that the when she first came home from the hospital with me I mean she told me a story about birth too but I'm not gonna get into that one but um cause that's horrible too um but um, she told me that the first day, like when she came home with me from the hospital, I was bathed, I was clean, I wasn't, you know, hungry or anything, but I was crying. And, she, and instead of her holding me and taking care of me and just like, you know, loving on me, she put me in the middle of the bed and she left the house and came back when I was asleep. So I learned right away that I could not depend on her for any kind of emotional support whatsoever. And um and I I would forget from time to time and then be faced with the fact again that she was not capable or willing whatever you want to call it to be there for me. So um I knew not to come to her much for any emotional support because I just wasn't going to get it. So um, all that stuff is real, and all the like just there's there's so much, but it's all real. I didn't make it up, so I don't feel that anyone gets a pass to um to just be toxic and and be I'm not subjecting myself nor my children to any of that anymore. I'm so past accepting crap and the fact is my entire life up until the very last interaction that I've had with my mother where she called me it was toxic the, the entire time so I'm, I'm doing what I have to do and I think like I said I'm just grieving just grieving what is and um and that's okay no, it's perfectly fine. And um, I don't know. I'm just feeling sad today. So I guess that's it for this one. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.